In all the hours of congressional testimony by Attorney General Bill Barr this week, it was this answer that sent shockwaves through an already frenzied post Mueller investigation. I think there's a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. Well, let me... But the uh, question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated. And I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I'd need to explore that. So what spying is Barr referring to? While he didn't elaborate, he's most likely talking about a situation involving a man by the name of Carter Page. Let's go back to the height of the 2016 campaign season. In March of 2016, Trump named Page a member of his foreign policy team. In September, Page left the campaign after his communications with Russians came to light. Then in October, the FBI applied for a foreign surveillance warrant because the agency believed, quote, Page has been the subject of targeted recruitment by the Russian government. That warrant for surveillance on Page was approved and then renewed three different times. Page maintains that he was never an agent of a foreign power, calling the accusations ridiculous. The president and Republicans continually claim that because the FISA warrant helped launch the Russia probe, the whole investigation is tainted. And Barr's use of the word quote unquote spying seems to play right into that. Joining me now is Carter Page. Carter, A.G. Barr uses that word spying, which to me has an illegal or illicit connotation. But in your case, you were surveilled pursuant to a court order. It was based on a finding of probable cause, and it was renewed three different times, right? Kind of, I would say, Michael. A lot of that was based on exactly what we talked about two years ago this month in April of 2017, which is the dodgy dossier paid for by the DNC and their candidate in 2016, right around the time, you know, you will refer to that September 2016, me stepping away, taking a leave of absence from the campaign. That was a couple of days after the defamatory article by Yahoo News. So, and also by the uh, Radio Free Europe, which is a propaganda uh, network paid for by the uh, Broadcasting Board of Governors and their, um, their follow-up agency in Washington. So it's absolutely, as, you, uh, as I've noted before, ridiculous. But my, my point is that when you say spying, I think it conjures up an image of, you know, G. Gordon Liddy at the Watergate. There was a process here in which judges made four different determinations that the government had met some threshold of probable cause and that's why they were granted permission to surveil you. Okay, well, that's two separate issues. Let me kind of go back to your, uh, sorry, on your first question on spying. Look, there's good spies and there's bad spies. There's good cops and there's bad cops. What we found with new evidence, again, it's exactly as we talked about for 10 minutes and two years ago this month. There is a lot, there is a lot of wrongdoing going on within the U.S. Department of Justice and the FBI. So that is a major problem. And in terms of those warrants, you know, we now have some initial details of those uh, warrants in the uh, FISA uh, uh, applications and uh, granting the, uh, the actual uh, warrants themselves from the, the judges. And actually the same month that you and I had that conversation in April 2017, Judge Conway uh, from the U.S. District Court, of, uh, Middle District of Florida, signed off on a, uh, the fraud FISA warrant application by Mr. Comey, which had just been uh, submitted, again, the same month as our conversation. So if they actually looked at the facts and listened to what I was saying, they might have uh, avoided this complete mess that they're okay, in but right now. That, that, kind of, that kind of underscores that if, if, if what you're telling me is you were still being surveilled at the time you were appearing on CNN with me, that was long after you were no longer associated with the Trump campaign. And the Papadopoulos aspect of this is what began the investigation. The president is, is fond of saying, and I, I could put up a succession of tweets. I remember it was a Saturday, March of 2017, I guess, when he first, yeah, they just found out Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower. You know, it, it's really all about you, and there was no Trump Tower aspect to this. But my point, Carter, is simply the investigation began before you, and it, and, and it was taking place with regard to you at a time when you'd cut your tie with the Trump campaign. 
uh, th there's a, we, we could talk for hours on a lot of those points, Michael, but let me kind of cut to that, uh, the point on the uh, series of tweets on March 4, 2017. Two weeks later, the same person that the following month, the same month as our interview, Mr. Comey filed that fraudulent FISA warrant. You know, he testified in Congress on March 20th that what he was saying, there's no evidence of that. To the contrary, I spent a, I'm, uh, my office when I used to work in New York is right next door to Trump Tower. I was in and out of there uh, quite frequently. Um, the Starbucks coffee, the, uh, you know, the cafe downstairs. So there was absolutely uh, spying in Trump Tower. There was no question about that. So, and you know, so, look, I, you know. No, go, go, go ahead and finish your thought, but I want to ask another question. Look, I think there is a lot of, um, look, there's a, a complete double standard kind of across the board in terms of, you know, these various investigations that have been going on. And I think what Attorney General Barr has been saying in terms of actually looking at what exactly happened, I think there's huge reasons for that in terms of, you talk about predicates. There's just a mountain of evidence of wrongdoing. And, you know, you compare those false FISA warrants, Michael, to the, uh, the, the pleadings that I've had in the Southern District of New York and now in the Second Circuit. To this day, actually to last week on uh, <laughs> April 5th, the uh, U.S. District or the U.S. Attorney, uh, Mr. Berman, you know, is still filing these misleading statements. And so it's a complete double standard where, you know, people are all over me, but, you know, these, these false um, court pleadings in various U.S. district courts, both the FISA court as well as Southern District of New York, just go unquestioned. So, um, you know, I, I think a there's final, uh, a final yeah. thought, a final thought, if I may. You, very easily you get lost in the weeds of this case because it's complicated. So let me try and simplify with this thought. Wouldn't the FBI have been derelict in not focusing on you, given that you were on their radar in 2013, you had the association with the Trump campaign, you'd met with the ambassador, however briefly, in Cleveland, you gave that pro-Putin speech when you were in Moscow, you were headed back over there. I mean, there, there was a lot of stuff that if they hadn't focused on you, I as an American would be asking, why not? Is that not fair? The month before our, our interview in April 17, I had the long series of interviews with the FBI. And I told them about, you know, Representative Ocasio-Cortez talked about incitement of violence. Right around the time of our interview, I was constantly getting death threats from Oklahoma, which was where the brunt of the injury was, but really from across the nation, based on the incitement of violence that was paid for by the DNC and pushed by the Democrats, including uh, Congressman uh, Schiff during his uh, testimony with Mr. Comey on March 20th, where Mr. Comey made the false statement. So, you know, there's a lot of things that they should be focused on. I think it's unfortunate that they did not focus on the incitement of violence here in the United States, which they were very much a part of. And there was absolutely all each of those points you alluded to on my side. I did nothing wrong. And if you look at the First Amendment, you're allowed to have free speech, Michael. Last I checked. At least, at least some, Carter, you know, individuals are supposed to, but the, uh, you know, it's, uh, it hasn't worked out that way thus far. Only the, you know, big massive media companies.